Hello there. In this lesson we're going to look at a pair of simultaneous equations and we're going to solve it. You see here two equations. In the first equation we see that the highest power is 2. That makes it a quadratic. In the second equation we see that the highest power is 1. So that makes it a linear equation. So here we have a pair of simultaneous equations where one of them is quadratic and one of them is linear. If you're faced with something like that, you will have to use the linear equation to express x in terms of y, or y in terms of x, which you will then substitute into your quadratic equation. I think what I'll do is I will write my linear equation and take my 2y to the right hand side. Now if I want to express y in terms of x, I simply divide across by 2. So y is equal to 5x plus 7 all over 2. This value here is equal to y and I'm going to substitute it in instead of this value y and this value y. And then my quadratic equation will be expressed only with x's because I will have x squared plus 4 times 5x plus 7 over 2 all squared plus 3x plus twice 5x plus 7 over 2 minus 56 equal to 0. Writing that out I get and now I will multiply out the brackets and solve the resulting quadratic equation. When I multiply this out I get x squared plus 4 times and I need to square what's inside the brackets so I need to square the top of my fraction and the bottom. When I square the top I will get 25x squared plus twice 5x by 7 well 5x by 7 is 35x so twice that is 70x plus 7 squared which is 49 and that's all over 2 squared which is 4 plus my 3x plus 2 times 5x plus 7 over 2 minus 56 equal to 0. Now there's a little bit of cancelling can be done I can cancel my 4's here and here and I can cancel my 2's here and here so now when I multiply it out I get x squared plus 25x squared plus 70x plus 49 plus 3x plus 5x plus 7 minus 56 equal to 0 and I need to add my like terms so I have x squared plus 25x squared which gives me 26x squared I can add my x terms so that's 70x, 3x and 5x which gives me 78x and then my constants which is plus 49, 7 and minus 56 plus 49 and 7 is 56 and take away 56 which gives me 0 so there's no constant left so this is just equal to the right hand side which is still 0 now I can divide across by 2 giving me 13x squared plus 39x is still equal to 0 because 0 divided by 2 is 0 and I want to factorize now so that I can find the values of x which satisfy this and x goes into the first one 13x plus 39 0 now we get two answers here first factor equal to 0, that's x is equal to 0 and the second factor equal to 0 is 13x plus 39 which gives me that 13x is equal to minus 39 and dividing across by 13 I get that x is equal to minus 39 over 13 so x is equal to minus 3. So I get two solutions x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 3. 
Now we substitute these two values into our linear equation to find the value of y. Our linear equation was 5x minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0. So if we substitute our values in, we get 5 times 0 minus 2y plus 7. That is minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0. So 7 is equal to 2y and y is equal to 7 over 2. Now remember that these values of x and y are related. So when x is 0, y is 7 over 2. That's one complete solution. The other one we substitute in 5 times minus 3 minus 2y plus 7 equal to 0. So that's minus 15 minus 2y plus 7 which gives me minus 8 minus 2y equal to 0. So that minus 8 is equal to 2y and y is equal to minus 8 over 2. So y is equal to minus 4. Now again, these two values of x and y are related. So when x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to minus 4. These are the two unique solutions to the pair of simultaneous equations that I had. So my solution are 0 and 7 over 2 and minus 3 and minus 4. And if we were to express this geometrically, we would have the points of intersection between the quadratic equation, which is a curve, and the linear equation, which is the equation of a straight line. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.